In this session, we are going to see how to simulate a circuit using online simulator, which is known as Multisim Live. Right? So, first, what you need to do is you need to log on to multisim.com, right? Or you can search Multisim Online Editor and you can click on the link. So, you'll be logging on to the Multisim Online Editor page. There, first step is you need to create a login. So while creating a login, you should use your college email ID. Then create an ID, create a login there. After creating the login, you click on login and you enter into the login and to the multisim environment. So you'll be getting a page like this. Your name, all those things will be displayed there. Right. Next step is you are going to create a circuit. Right. So for that, you can click on this create circuit button. Then your multi-sim workspace will be loading after some time. So this is your multi-sim workspace. This is where you are going to draw the circuit. On the left hand side, you can see the multi-sim toolbar, what all tools are there, right? So first experiment is you are going to uh, perform a AC circuit simulation. So in that AC circuit, you will be having a bulb, incandescent bulb. You will be having an AC source and an SPST switch, right? So first component is you, you need to have a AC source. So you can click on this icon, sources tool in the toolbar. You can see almost all the sources here, but since you are going to do an AC circuit simulation, you need to take this source, AC voltage source. You can click on this. No need of dragging the mouse, you uh, simply move the mouse. No need to click and drag, you simply move the mouse and wherever you need to keep the source you click there once so you can see that your source is fixed there by default it is one volt one kilohertz source right but you are going to do a simulation of 230 volt 50 hertz source right so double click on this when you are double clicking on the uh, source on the right hand side you will get the properties window of this item right so now you are going to control a 230 volt bulb using your 230 volt supply so here you can change the volt from 1 volt to 230 volt frequency you are changing it to 50 hertz why you are using 230 volt 50 hertz source because your normal household supply is 230 volt 50 hertz your simulation is what you what you are going to do in the simulation you are going to simulate an led and a switch and the source so whenever you are closing the switch your bulb should be should be on so in your house or in your house you will be having a switch and a uh, say light whenever you are switching on the switch your light should be on that simulation you are going to do here so for that i am taking 230 volt 50 hertz so after entering the 50 hertz press enter so you can see 230 volt 50 hertz source you have taken next one is you need to take a switch so for that you can click on this switches tool so when you are clicking on this you can see all the kinds of tools here now for time being you are taking spst switch spst means single pole single throw switch single pole and single throw what do you mean by pole and what do you mean by throw the movable contact in the switch is known as pole this is known as a pole right so when you are closing the switch this pole will get connected to this point right so this is known as the pole and to which point you are going to make the connection that point is known as a throw so in this case i am having only one pole and one throw so it is known as single pole single throw switch right so to which point you are going to make the connection that is known as the throw by using what component you are going to make the connection that is known as a pole so this is pole this is throw and in your normal household you will be using whatever normal switch you are using is a SPST switch and the current rating will be 5 amps right that means you can connect only a device consuming maximum 5 amps to that switch that is in the case of normal household switch but for controlling your oven or your washing machine motor etc you may have seen bigger switch that is also single pole single throw switch but the current rating is 15 amps right that means maximum 15 amps current can flow through that because the microwave oven etc are 
consuming more amount of current so here i am going to use 5 amps spst switch so click on the spst switch keep it here right so i have i am having the source and the switch next i need to take a bulb so for that you can click on the indicators tool click on this you can see so many type of indicators from this i am taking the normal lamp click on that lamp keep it here by default it will be 12 volt lamp i need to change this 12 volt to 230 volt how will you change it when you are clicking on a particular component the corresponding properties will be shown on the right hand side here change this 12 volt to 230 volt press enter so you have selected the 230 volt lamp so now you have given the voltage at which the lamp should be on that is 230 volt next step is you need to give the maximum rated power that means if you are buying a normal incandescent lamp you will be buying say 60 watt watts bulb or 40 watts bulb like that you will be buying so what is the power rating of that uh, bulb you need to give here so for time being i am going to give a give it a 60 so i am using 60 watts 230 volt bulb right and one more thing you need to give that is known as the brown burnout voltage that burnout voltage for time being i am going to give 250 volt what do you mean by burnout voltage if you are giving a voltage above this voltage value the bulb will get damaged and your filament will be get burned off that is a burnout voltage that for time being i am going to give it as 250 volt so i am using 60 watts 230 volt bulb with 250 volt burnout voltage next step is you need to wire all these components so for, for wiring no need of clicking any tools in the toolbar simply move the cursor to the starting point from where you need to make the connection so you can see that if you are in the actual point you can see that the cursor will be changing to a particular symbol right can you see this so this shows that this is a starting point so for starting the connection simply click on that point single click then move the cursor so the wiring will be started and you move to the ending point when you are reaching the ending point you will be getting a concentric circle there that shows that that is the ending point so click there once so the first net is connected between these two similarly you can make the connection here go to a starting point click there once go to the ending point click there once so this is a second net right finally you can make the last net connection you can click here then you can come to the source in the source you can click there so your circuit is complete in addition to all these three components you need to have a ground also otherwise in this circuit simulation you will get a warning so for taking that ground you click on schematic connectors click on this then take the ground click on this ground keep it here right then similar to all the other components make the connection between circuit and the ground so the now the circuit is complete then you can start the simulation for starting the simulation you can see a run simulation button in the left top corner you can click on that so simulation environment will be starting and the time elapsed will be shown here in seconds now will you check whether your circuit is correct you can click on this switch s1 so the switch will be closed and your lamp will be on right so when you are clicking on the switch what is happening you are moving this pole that is single pole you are moving to this throw right so the circuit will get closed and your bulb will be on so this is how you are simulating a basic ac circuit using multi sim simulator thank you